Hello everyone. So today's tutorial is going to be about capturing data, active and non-active data in MagicQ. And then the rest you can do, you can use it for um, uh, creating new palettes, creating new new playbacks, etc, etc. So I'm talking about mainly two functions, which are snapshot and advanced include. But I'll also show you another function that a lot of people are not aware of. And it's the function called active. So uh, let's go with a few examples of what I wanted to show you. So here's a simple example. You have a couple of playbacks that you would like to combine into one single playback. So here's the example. So let's say you have these two playbacks. Okay. And now, so I'm running playback three and four, which is spot static and wash static. And you would like to combine these two playbacks together into one single playback. Okay. What's the easiest and fastest way to do it? It's quite simple. If you have a, uh, if you have a full physical console, what you can do is hold through button, click on record button and click on the uh, S button or any empty playback. And that will create for you a playback. So if you do not have a physical console, you have a PC version, then you go to the programmer window and click the button that's called snapshot. So as soon as you've done that, it will take all the data that is currently active from the active playbacks and it will bring it into the programmer. So this is again, this is all active playbacks. Okay. After that, all you do is you press record and then you record your playback. Okay. Simple as that. So now if I put these playbacks down, I can raise this playback and you will see both of them are combined here simple okay but as i said if you ha do have a physical console which is obviously better then you could do the same things without going into the programmer and pressing snapshot all you will have to do is, is just hold through button press record and then click on any empty playback to create a playback that combines two or three or four or five or multiple memories together or playbacks together so let's look at the other option so, okay. Uh, another thing is this snapshot, it also records uh, an active play, uh, active effects as well. So for example, let's say I have spot circle. Okay. That's an effect. And I have, for example, a static look from washes. Okay. So this is, oh, maybe I'm going to do three playbacks. So now I would like to combine this all three and create a new playback. Again, same thing hold through, press record and click on the empty space. Or if you have a PC Mac version, you come here in the programmer window, press snapshot. It will bring into the programmer all active playbacks, including effects. Okay. And then you press record and you record that thing. So if I release everything and then so I put everything down, and I erase this playback, you will see that it's all combined. Okay, as I said, it's fairly easy and it's really super fun to create and uh, and combine stuff together. So let's let's go into the next one. So for example, right now, uh, if you look into, for example, the output window. So in the output window, right now, the spots that I have are not active, they're not in the playback, okay? However, they have the old information, which is the LTP data. For example, if I run this, you see the data is here loaded. Now I put the fader down, you will see that the data, as it's an LTP and it hasn't been released, it's still running there. It's not It's not running, sorry, I have to, I have to correct myself. It is still there, but it's not active. So let's say I would like to capture whatever is currently uh, data is on the heads, meaning that whatever they are running now until they've been located or released, I would like to capture that data, for example. And then I want to, want to use that data to create a, a palette, for example, for colors. Then in that case, this is what I can do is, for example, if I don't know w which playback brought me that data here, all I can do is I have to select my heads. So sure you go here. See, 
the heads are selected. I'm not pressing any. I'm not pressing any um, any uh, uh, data here. I'm not selecting anything. But now, if I go to the programmer window and I press snapshot, you will see nothing has been loaded. Snapshot is complete. Why? Because there is no active playback running. So then you may say, but then how can we bring that data into the program? Again, it's quite simple. So instead of using snapshot, when you press the shift button, the snapshot changes into the active. So then MagicQ will look at whatever the fixtures are currently selected, whatever they're currently actively select. It could be the whole group or it could be selected fixtures. And then you press active. So if you go into the levels, you will see that this information has been loaded into the programmer. So from here, of course, you can go to the, let's say, uh, to your normal view. Let's say you can go to the uh, color palettes, scroll down, press record, and then record a palette. It's simple as that. So basically, if you have, if you don't have any active playbacks, however, the last information that you have on the light has got that particular uh, attribute in a certain level. So instead of going there and trying to touch the attribute, etc., it's much, much easier if you go into this window, programmer window, and instead of pressing snapshot, you press shift and you press active and that will do the trick for you. Okay, this is for all inactive stuff. And the last thing I want to show you, as you already know, the option include. So, you know, if you have any playback and you want to start doing the changes there, you want to bring the changes in, you can always press include, click on the playback, and that will load the whole, all data that you got in this playback into the programmer. We all know how it works. You know, it's not the first time we're using the system. However, um, a lot of people are unaware what to do if they have, let's say, a queue stack. Let's say we have a queue stack with multiple steps. Okay. And in my, this queue, sorry, uh, if I go back and I'll restart it again, so you'll see everything I did. So if I run my queue stack in my uh, step number six, you will have uh, beams running dimmer effect. Okay. So in my step number seven, the heads are changing position. They go outwards. They're running still dimmer effect and the position effect, but the dimmer effect is actually recorded in the step number six, which means in the step number seven, this is the tracked information. So this is what I'm talking about. If you go to the view queue, and if you look at the view number seven, so it's a QID number seven, if you look at the effects, you will see that the effects here are only the circle effect, okay? There are some level information for the color, yes, but effects wise, it's only a color effect, but in the final result, you can see that the data that you're looking for is, is also attract data for the dimmer chase. So here's the question. How can you uh, record or how can you bring the data that is currently active like as you see here in my last step of my queue stack, or it may be the, queue, uh, the step number 150. So what I want is I would like to take into the programmer all the information that I need of selected heads and I want to select only tracked information, the whole tracked information, the whole picture of what I need. So how can you do that? So if you go into the programmer window, okay, and then you press snapshot. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to bring you the data for the Mavericks. Okay, so it will bring you the information about rogue beams, but in reality, I don't need the, this information. All I need is I want, uh, sorry, I don't want rogue washers, I don't want Maverick MK2 spots, I only want to see the information related to the rogue R1 beam. 
and that's all fine that it brings me the tilt position and brings me the color position it's all good and i will go into the view effects and you will see only circle effect but we do know that if i'm going to save this now as my cue here okay let me kill this one if i go here you will see there's nothing why because the dimmer effect that is running on a queue number six is actually have not been captured. So, and the, and this has been asked for me several times and I explained how it works. And now I will show you how to actually capture all track data as well. So in order to do that, uh, let me just go to step number five. Okay. And then we go to step number six. So this is all running. So in order for you to capture that last data, that has actually all tracked data that is currently coming into the queue number seven. In order to do that, the best way, if I only want to record and bring into the program the data for my beams, in order to do that, you will have to select the, uh, the, the, the heads, the beam in our case. Okay. Then I can go back to uh, my queue stack, hold shift and press include to go into the advanced include mode okay then you have to choose you, uh, as because i've selected heads it, the selected only will will be applied automatically and if i want to if i want to bring into the program the whole entire state of what i see now meaning position effects dimmer effects colors and certain position values i have to click on entire state okay and then I have to choose the step I need in order to bring into the program. So I need to include the queue number seven, and that will also bring all the tracked values as well that are currently in the queue number seven. So I click on it. Now, if you go to the programmer window, you will see that it brought only selected heads. It brought the tilt information that I have in the queue seven. It has the color information I have in Q7. And if I look into the view effects, you're going to see both effects here. That means the effects are coming from circle effect that's coming from the Q7 and the dimmer effects that's coming from the Q6. And then you'll go and create a new playback. So in this case, when you run this, you will see exactly the information you needed from a particular Q in the queue stack that includes also the tracking but in recent case i was asked if the user can only take the dimmer information uh, sorry the effect information that is currently tracked through to that particular queue and i said yeah of course it can be done in order to do that you'll have to select particular hats that you would like to bring in the effects of which you want to bring in then you hold shift and press include here you select you choose the keep the selected only then you choose entire state in order to be able to record the tracked information as well and you choose effects only okay so that means it will ignore the data of the colors any positions it will only bring in all the effects and then i can close that window or type the Q number, let's say Q number seven, and then I click here. So in that case, if you look in the programmer, you will see that the information that it brought forward is only circle effects and the dimmer chase. So now if I go and record that data, clear it, switch off the playback, release lights. Now, if I run them, you will see that it only brought my dimmer effect and a circle effect. The other things were completely ignored. Again, as soon as you bring the information into the programmer, of course, if you want to only do selective recording, you've got options in the record options window. So you can select and choose in particular if you want to keep or if you want to remove from there. That is all today for, for today. I hope it was useful for you. And if you have any more questions, of course, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section or on the Facebook where I'm going to post this picture, uh, this video as well. 
and uh, so please subscribe to my channel. I know it may not be uh, needed for everyone or all the parts of this video needed for everyone, but I'm sure some of you will appreciate it. Press like and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.